What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to touch on the topic of the glorious cheat meal. So the infamous cheat meal is something that's been around for quite a while. A lot of people feel the need to incorporate cheat meals into their regimen, cheat days, you know, treat themselves at the end of a, a grueling week of sticking to their diet and getting their workouts in. And I'll be honest, personally, I haven't had a cheat meal in years. And the reason being is because when you take care of your body with general good nutrition, you control your metabolism and you stay within your allotted amount of calories each and every day and add the flexibility of enjoying your favorite foods in moderation, the cheat meal is almost obsolete. There's no reason to stay on a restrictive regimen and then overboard on the cheat meal itself. And the setbacks of a cheat meal is that there's no regulation per se. You know, there's a moderate cheat meal, there's an all out cheat meal, but when you, you know, let's say eat 2000 calories throughout the week and your body's kind of maintain this steady pace of caloric intake. And then on Saturday, let's say you eat three, four, five, 10,000 calories, it really throws your metabolism off and you can actually store a great deal of body fat um, in a short amount of time. I've seen it happen, especially people after bodybuilding shows and such. You can gain a great amount of fat all at once. Um, everything you eat, you know, your body has to digest it. It's not just uh, bypassing some of the food that you're putting into it. So if you go overboard, you can definitely um, notice the effects afterwards. And it sucks for people to, you know, work hard all week, stay, stay regimen, stay um, down to earth with their, their nutrition and their regimens and then fall off completely, you know, because they feel like they need to reward themselves, they need to treat, they need to let loose. And the cheat meal is just not the most efficient way to go about it. When you incorporate um, fun foods in small amounts, it's a lot less detrimental over a time. So take a chocolate cake, for instance, if you eat the whole chocolate cake in a sitting, it takes a lot for your body to soak all that in. It cannot possibly use all that fuel and sugar in a good way. Um, it's going to be stored as fat. Some of it is just inevitable. But if you have a small piece of chocolate cake a day, your body can utilize a lot of the, the macros within that chocolate cake in the right manner to where it's not going to have as much of a detrimental effect on your body fat. So steering away from the cheat meal and trying to enjoy more treats in moderation while still fitting it into that calorie allotment is definitely the best way to go. And I've found it to work not only best for my body composition and internal health and overall energy, but for my clients as well.